gonna leave it there for the shout outs. I wanted to hit on a couple things this morning, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the view. It's calming for me, but maybe it's not calming for you. So if you guys want to see my face, I can flip it back around as well to put it back on me. Um, I think the view is a lot better than seeing my face. But check this out, guys. What do you think about the all black, all black on black, black high tat, man? Check this out. Miss Wade came up with this one. She bought it for me this week. And here we are. I'm rocking it this morning. Um, before I get into the show, I wanted to tell you guys something. So last night, uh, Miss Erica Williams, who many of you guys uh, follow as well, too, she had her Classy Climb summer event. A fantastic event, guys. A fantastic event. The reason why we're in Spicewood and Hill Country right now is because um, I was a sponsor for the event last night. Let me tell you this. It was a fantastic event. Great people, great energy, great band, great venue. A spectacular event held by Erica Williams. Guys, if you have an opportunity to meet some of the people that you follow online, it's important to do so. If they hold events, try to get there because you're really going to get an opportunity to see who these people are in person. Up close, break bread with them, drink some wine with them, see how they act. You know, if their personas online is the exact same as their personas are in person, how do they treat people and so forth. And, you know, I had an opportunity to meet Erica, you know, months ago, and I just loved her energy, loved her, um, her will to help others and so forth. So. You know, um, when she told me she was having an event, I told her right away that I wanted to be a sponsor and I was going to show up and represent her and the Classic Climb group. It was absolutely fantastic. And I got a chance to meet a lot of people that I've had coaching sessions with and um, sip some wine with and talk to about careers and so forth. So shout out to Erica Williams for doing a fantastic event that was a winery event was last night today it's actually going to be on a boat and instead of me being on the boat i'm going to be at the vineyard and at the pool that you guys saw in front of me but shout out to sister erica fantastic fantastic i'm slow this morning because of that event i'm uh you know drinking the nice little protein shake right now so that i can somewhat recover i woke up with a little bit of brain fog after drinking some wine last night so excuse me if uh, I'm not as sharp uh, this morning. But let's jump into some of the subjects that I wanted to hit on today, guys. I wanted to hit on one, Amazon. Amazon and data science, guys. Amazon is going to be hiring, and they are hiring, more than 500 data science roles. Our brother, engineer and cannabis, who loves to talk about the data science space, he came on this platform in early February, in February this year, and gave us the game on data science. And I can tell you this, guys, data science is the space to be in. And I want you guys to know the difference between, you know, data science and a data analyst. What's the difference? Because as you guys recall, I believe it was last show, last Saturday, I talked a little bit about data science or data analyst, a data analyst. and it is a role that can lead to a data scientist. And the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist, their roles are very similar. Uh, but I would say a data scientist are the ones that are asking questions and they're looking at trends and patterns to reveal you know, new ways that the company that they're working for can make better decisions and to improve the overall business operations. So, but data scientists would be more senior to a data analyst. Their day-to-day -day could be very, very similar looking through data. But a lot of the times, the data scientists are expected to answer and ask their own questions where a data analyst is told, hey, you know what? We got this whole data set. This is what we want to use it for. Go and make sure you find the data trend and so forth to make sure that it represents, you know, what we're trying to use it for. Where a data scientist is like, no. Nope, you know, we got this whole data set. Let me ask my own questions. Let me see if this data can develop a product or a service or something along those lines. They're more experienced, more senior, and they deal with a little bit more technology as well, too. So a path for many of you guys, if you're going to get going to consider the data analyst route, right? If you are a Patreon member, 
take the data analytics certification, Google Coursera. If you're a professional Patreon member, take the data analytics, Google certification. It's about six months. You'll be able to learn a good amount so that you can actually enter the data analytics, data analyst uh, role, right? You can apply for those positions. And once you are in that role for quite some time, you can then ladder climb to become a data science scientist if that's the field that you want to go in. And I'm going to tell you like this, these guys make a shitload of money as engineering cannabis. They make a lot of money. So consider it, guys, the role of a data scientist. But let's talk about Amazon. I'm going to put my screen up here to share, you know, Amazon and um, talk about what they're going to be doing and who they're hiring and so forth and the roles that they're hiring. So give me one second. Let me get there. Boom. All right. Hopefully you guys can see my screen here. But Amazon is hiring more than 500 data science roles. And many come with six-figure jobs, guys. Six-figure jobs are important. Why is it important? Because it's going to allow for you to take some of the money that you're earning to be able to invest in other things. Start your entrepreneurship journey. Start your real estate journey. Start another company. Invest into stocks, equity, whatever it is, your family. Put your kids in private school so that they can get a better education. Six-figure jobs are important. <clears throat> and you'll see that with Amazon hiring, you know, these roles, it is one of the most important roles that are that is out there in tech today. That is of a data scientist. But let's talk about the article here. You guys know that the tech industry and in some aspects of it is cooling down, not in sales and not in data science. I tell you that. <laughs> if you want to get in tech sales, check out Course Careers. Link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Ask Brother Manny. Ask Brother Akira. It's a fantastic course. And um, it is a way that can help you to jump into tech sales. If you want to you know, get into data science, go ahead and become part of the Patreon and sign up for the Google professional certifications. And you will be on your way to becoming a data analyst. That's going to get you to that six figure bag so that you can make those investment moves. But again, the tech companies have been laying off. A lot of recruiters are beginning laid off because they're slowing down and so forth. But roles of sales and that of a data analyst, they continue to be in high demand, guys. So Amazon is, they nearly have 72,000 tech jobs that are open on their career page right now. And 580 of them are for data science positions, with over 400 of those being in the United States. And one thing that they say about data science, guys, is that it's been consistently ranked one of the best jobs in America. So think about this. Not only are you going to have a good salary if you go towards a data science route, but you're going to have one of the best jobs. People absolutely love the work that they do as a data scientist. OK, as engineering cannabis. That's why he comes on this channel when he comes on. And he is so, you know, so passionate about uh, the work that he does. So passionate about, you know, pouring into us and talking about how we can become data analysts and data scientists and make that uh that career switch right it's because he loves what he does and it's one of the highest ranked jobs in america and um in 2021 they did a you know a survey of you know top jobs in the united states in tech and so forth and data scientists was number one but Amazon is hiring across the data science spectrum. A lot of people, they think, okay, well, you know, data science in general is only related to you being a data scientist. But data scientists, the role is combined over multiple different titles. And I want to share with you guys what some of those titles are. So at Amazon, the data science um, department, they have a data analyst role, which a salary starts at $55,000 all the way up to $90,000. Typically, this would be somebody who's entry level. You have a data scientist role, which is an early salary of $66,000, but all the way to $182,000. You have a data science manager making one hundred thirty-five to one hundred and sixty. dollars And I want to see you guys in the manager route, right? What's the point if you consistently 
are going to be an individual contributor, you're not going to be able to help people and pull people up, right? So that's why I always talk about ladder climbing and getting to those manager and senior level positions because you can help bring other folks up. With it comes a lot of responsibility, but with it comes a lot more pay. In a business intelligence organization, so if you think about data science, this spectrum, we talked about data analytics, data science, data science manager, but business intelligence is also under the data science world. And um, if you become a business intelligence engineer, you can be making seventy dollars an hour to one sixty at Amazon. You can, as a senior business intelligence engineer, you can be making ninety one thousand to one thirty five. And as a manager, 148 to 185. So, guys, great salaries. If you are more interested into things like research, all right, you can be a research scientist, which is still under the data science world, the spectrum, right? 65,000 to 185. A manager, 140 to 142. Engineering, if this is your, your world. A data engineer, a brother before the billions is a data engineer. That's under data science. You can become a data scientist from being a data engineer. That's a career progression. That's ladder climbing if you were to do such a thing. But as a data engineer, you can make $65,000 all the way up to 180, depending on what level you're in. Senior data engineer, 131 to 142. Senior manager, 125 to 156. And machine learning engineer and Amazon, 145 to 170. Now, one thing I would say about this too, guys, is Amazon... And some of their roles, and especially the managerial roles and so forth, you know, they don't highlight all of their perks, benefits, compensation. These are just salaries. And when you're at Amazon, I'm going to tell you like this. I got a brother, Carlos. He's a information technology manager at Amazon, and his base is like 180. The guy makes over $300,000 a year, right, because of equity and so forth. He's doing absolutely fantastic. Just got married. You can make a lot of money. These salaries to some may seem low, but I'm going to tell you like this. This isn't telling all of the story. This is just the base salary and so forth. Amazon pays people in equity and stock options and so forth. So guys, consider the role of a data scientist is very, very important. And I want for you guys to continue to get to that money. And if you ain't doing sales, do data analytics. If you ain't doing... Uh, sales and data analytics, consider project management. If you're not considering project management, consider business analytics, consider account management, account executive, all those roles will get you to a good amount of money within your career.